I would like to start my presentation with two questions. First, how many of you have seen bloodshed and mass destruction in your childhood? Or how many of you ran miles after miles to cross border for survival? I hope none of you experienced this. Me neither. Now visualize yourself in the same situation. You along with your whole family have fled to a new country for survival. You don't have job there, you don't know the language, and you are in a state of sheer uncertainty. According to the UN Refugee Agency, the world is currently facing the highest influx of displaced population since World War II. And it is due to political conflict, environmental calamities, and economic crisis. Most alarming is that almost half of the displaced population is children, and their education condition is way worse as only 50% of the displaced children attend primary school. They are our future generation, and we need to make sure that they are receiving proper education in their formative stage of life. But how can we expect them to attend school normally, whereas almost all of them show symptoms of trauma and stress disorder? When they were asked by some social workers to draw whatever they wish to, almost all of them drew about war and destruction. That is what their state of mind is. So we need to ensure their well-being first. Since the culture of the new place is quite different, so there needs to be uh, a cultural synthesis of their new place and their home place. And secondly, we need to reflect their true demand in our design. So how can we do that? Recently, through some NGOs, I have conducted a design uh, competition. Uh, the, the title was Draw Your Dream School, Draw Your Favorite Playing Space, and the outcome was amazing. Now I'm trying to analyze their drawings and trying to integrate their imagination in the design process. My research is focusing on Syrian displaced population living in Greek island Lesbos. And I am considering the context, and now considering the context as well as determining the true demand, true requirement for educational space, learning space, I'm trying to develop a framework and design principles that would be beneficial not only to them, but to the other refugee population around the world as well. Former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill once stated, we shape our buildings and eventually our buildings shape us. I'm optimistic. How about you? Thank you.